Don't get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Gotta get into this Cardi B drama. It seems like all the females. I'm still waiting to see if Katie got bands, got something to say, and who's the other one, Bia? We're going to see if they got something to say. Seems like all the ladies who are on the Queen mix with Nicki Minaj on the Super Freaky Girl remix, they're all having beef with Cardi. Cardi's doing a lot of back and forth with these ladies. Now, you guys remember I had did the video early in the week where um, Cardi B and JT got into it. Now, you guys know, because I've already reported on City Girls, Y'all know how I feel about them. I've always felt like they've given me, you know what I'm saying, D just whichever the whichever way the wind blows. You know, first they didn't like Nikki. They was dragging Nikki. Um, there's all types of old tweets and rap songs of JT going in on Nikki, Carisha too. And then, um, you know, once they started getting their foot in the door, then it was all, oh, she's the queen after Cardi kind of really helped, you know what I'm saying, really helped elevate them really had their back, really rocked with City Girls. And I noticed a lot of shade was going on during the whole WAP situation when Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion hooked up. And y'all know how I felt about that. I've always kept it real. You know, she can collab with who she wants to collab with. That doesn't mean I have to be a fan of that particular person. I also feel like Meg is also a social climber. And then, you know, it's just been a lot of just really funny stuff with all of these females, okay? So her and JT went back and forth. Um, I think I will say this, though. I think that Cardi should not have jumped the gun and caught her lap dog. You know, I think a lot of these fandoms keep a lot of shit going. You know what I mean? They start a lot of drama, and these rap girls fall for it every time. I think if JT was, respond was responding to one of the fandoms, then that was between JT and that fandom. But I think for Cardi, she feels a way because it's like, it just seems like everybody's coming at her, throwing shots at her. And it's very interesting that all this stuff is going on while her and Glorilla are actually charting the, you know, they're, they're charting right now. Like that song, Tomorrow Too, is, is hot. People love the song. The song is doing a lot better than the Freaky Girl remix. That's just facts. Y'all can't get mad at that. And I think the sad part, because of all this drama, it's taken away from Glorilla. You know what I'm saying? A young girl who really, you know what I mean, came up, got it out the mud. She's from Memphis. She's been out here grinding, doing her thing with her ratchet ass friends. Okay. And it's like everybody's feeling away. And that's the part that I hate the most, that it is taken away from Glorilla. Because JT and Glorilla work together. Mulatto, they work with Glorilla. And, um, you know, the song was dope. The remix was dope. And it just seems like it's just been an issue. And it's always funny, too, when people be like, oh, don't nobody care about numbers. Who cares? Oh, y'all always talking about billboard numbers. Well, how come when it comes to Cardi, all of a sudden nobody cares about numbers? But then when she's winning and she's on the chart, nobody cares. But then as soon as they get on the chart and they're, and they're you know, their numbers are up there, now all of a sudden, oh, I'm number one. I'm in the top 10. Everybody cares about numbers. I don't like that fake shit. That all of a sudden numbers don't matter when it's somebody else winning. You know, I, I never understood that because it's like numbers do matter. If numbers didn't matter, y'all wouldn't be doing it. Y'all wouldn't be in the game. Everybody likes props. Everybody likes accolades. Everybody likes a, pa a pat on the back. Remember, when, when Cardi won a Grammy, whole oh, Grammys don't matter. Nobody cares about Grammys. When she was winning all types of awards, nobody cared. It's not a big deal. But then when other people are nominated for awards, now all of a sudden it's a big deal. That, it's like the hypocrisy of these fan bases, child, is nauseating, okay? It's a bit much. And I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's like, it, it makes it where it's not even fun anymore to even report on the music or say, oh, such and such dropped a new album. I like it or I don't like it because the fans make it where it's not fun. You know, on my channel, I rarely even report on Cardi or Nicki. But yet and still, you'll have these stupid ass fans coming out here talking about you're on her payroll. You're on her payroll. And I find that funny because there's literally YouTubers on here who have whole pages dedicated to Nikki. But y'all don't sit up there and tell them you're on Nikki's payroll. You're on Nikki's payroll. Literally, if, if Cardi coughs, they're making a video. You know what I'm saying? If Nikki does something, they're making a video. 
So it's, it's just very interesting how a lot of these fans keep up a lot of shit. That's why I don't feed into it. You come with that payroll shit, you're blocked. Move on. Don't sit here and spend no lies. Because again, if I was on her payroll, she wouldn't be on social media clapping back and forth. I would take over her social media because I'm getting a check and she wouldn't be responding to none of this nonsense. Okay. So yesterday, her and some girl named Malibu Mitch got into it. Now, let me be honest with y'all. Never heard of Malibu Mitch before. Don't know who she is. I only heard of her when Malachi sent me the link to the Queen Mix. That is my favorite barb. He wanted me to listen to it, which I did. And I noticed she had a really deep voice, but that was my first time ever hearing her, ever hearing her name. And I know people were like, oh, how can you not have heard of her? Uh, excuse me. Half of y'all on my page yesterday when I posted that video of Chica doing her Kanye West freestyle, killing it. Half of y'all were like, who is this? I've never heard of her. Who is this? I like Chica. I rock with Chica. So everybody's not going to listen to everyone that you listen to. Just because somebody's your fave does not make them mine. I love Chica's music. I don't put her music on y'all. I don't force y'all to listen to Chica. I like Cardi. I don't put her music down y'all's throats. I don't tell y'all to follow her. I don't tell, tell y'all to support her. That is your own choice. So never heard of Malibu Mitch until all this drama. Well, until, you know, the song, the Queen Mix. Let me take that back. Yeah, Chica killed it. She she killed that that verse when she uh she rapped um she she rapped on Kanye West's beat and she killed it. It's on my Instagram page. You know, and they're not posting that, but you know, all the social media pages are posting the fuckery. But shout out to Chica. So um whatchamacallit, they got into it yesterday. So let me go ahead and share my page. Okay, here. so one of the fans said this. They said she's targeting everybody on the Queen Mix. Malibu, saddle up, baby, you next, okay? So Malibu said, LOL, not saddle up. Imagine me being, being the retired gangster I am, saying, oh, no, someone talked about me. Now I have to go lay down a hot 16. Or, oh, no, I was mentioned today. Let me go tweet my response. Laugh my effing ass off. Nah, nigga. Now nah, one of us got to die. You know I'm from the Bronx, right? And then uh, she went on to say this. Cardi did not come to play. I am living. Her performance get better and better. She also said, oh, this was one of her old tweets. Excuse me. This was from 2019 where she was jocking Cardi. So they were all fans of Cardi. But it's very interesting. Once they, you know, got with, with Nikki on the remix, all of a sudden, you know, they hate Cardi. So this is one of her old tweets that we found. Um, to all the fans smoking crack, I've said countless times I like Cardi. Um, I don't put myself in people's beefs, especially if I feel like it can be squashed. So now this is modern day. This was yesterday. Waiting for only one hour and dipping is crazy. I hit her earlier. She could have hit me with all the details and left it off the internet for it to be a show. An hour though, I had to put my fighting clothes on. And get there like, damn, give me a heads up, gangsta. And then this guy says, wait, she was trying to fight you after they gave her community service to do. So now some, oh, Bianca. Oh, yeah, then Bianca jumped in, child. Y'all remember Bianca, the chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side. She jumped in the mix, right? So she says, I know at Malibu Mitch ain't right. I am Cardi B. Can we link off the internet? When I sent her my address on Instagram to where I was at in Harlem, the girl blocked me on everything and disappeared like a ghost. Now she's tough online, though. So let's see here. This was something that Cardi retweeted. Somebody says, laugh my ass off, but Cardi is the messy one. Malibu Mitch says, at Cardi B, what's up? I'm not one of these bitches. We can link off the internet. Then Cardi B retwist, uh, retweeted this and says, screenshotting this before they say it's fake because this shit was weird and out of nowhere. Now my next question is, who's dying? So let me take y'all here. They end up meeting. Well, they don't meet up. They both end up in the Bronx. Cardi's in front of some building, says I'm around. Malibu Mitch goes to some other building. But they're both supposedly in Highbridge, Bronx, okay? Somewhere in Highbridge. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys um, this clip here. Give me just a second. I have another clip I'm going to play. When I tell you social media was a mess yesterday, it was a hot-ass mess. Okay.
All right, that was fun. I'm out in soon. Bye. Day at this point, right? I got a song coming out with Akbar and Katie got bands, right? I don't want to be in nobody's fucking drama. I also got a song coming out with Asian Doll and Susu G's. I don't want to be in nobody's fucking drama. So everything that I wrote was for, in general, for anybody. Like, I just got off a, uh, a bitch just got out of the hospital last night, bro. I'm on fucking bed rest. I wrote that shit for any fucking body, any fucking body. But long and behold, the bitch that play, stay, stay playing fucking victim gonna retweet it just to get some little fucking corny sympathy shit if you a gangster be a fucking gangster bro that's it at the end of the day be a fucking gangster don't do all that sympathy shit like oh look look and she's the messy one she's the problem bro my shit was in fucking general in general for anybody i don't give a fuck who it is i'm not off the shady shit no none of that so if anybody want to link we can link that's why i add her that shit was not for nobody specific. That was in general. Like I said, like I said, I got a song coming out with Katie Got Bands and fucking um Akbar. They beefing with whoever the fuck they beefing with. I got a, also got a song coming out with Tutu G's and Asian. It was for everybody. Don't nobody talk about me on this internet. Get on this fucking internet and talk about me or sub me or do any of that. Because bitches be so quick to get on this internet shit and sub niggas. I'm not with none of that. So yeah, I had to create this little this little joint, whatever this shit is called, to say that. But long and behold, bitches be watching bitches Twitter for days on end, days on end, to see who's gonna say something and who's not gonna say nothing. Bitch, nobody was nobody's fucking worried about you. Nobody, I will never be fucking worried about a bitch like you. N not ever, bro. Not ever. So yeah, send that to y'all maker. Send this to y'all fucking maker. Cause I said that, then I just saved the tweet, I posted the tweet, and I'm like, don't let nobody let y'all little fan bases, fan pages get y'all fucked up. And guess what? She did exactly that. Let her little fan pages get her fucked up. So there you go with it. That child. Okay, let me come back on the screen here. Pretty raw raw for somebody who's got the damn hospital. You should be resting, sis. Oh. Now, I want to go ahead and talk about everything that Azealia Banks has been talking about. Azealia Banks has been saying some real stuff lately. Um, she's been watching all this, like all of us, okay? She's been sitting back, sipping slow. Y'all got the beef steak. <laughs> I love seeing this beef emojis. I'm telling y'all, all this beef makes no sense. They might as well go, you know what I'm saying, cook that beef in the kitchen. Half these people got kids. Go feed your kids, okay? But um, Azealia Banks has been saying some real stuff. So I want to read something that she wrote the other day. Then she went on live yesterday and was um, talking about the situation as well. So let me go ahead and read to you guys the first thing that she wrote on social media here. Give me just a second. All right, here we go. So Azealia Banks says, Nikki is so obsessed with Cardi. It's only, a, it's only making me like Cardi more. I like the parched for the... I'm like parched for the C2. Nikki is given 20 levels of peasy black girl with the burnt perm who is jealous of the Spanish girl that just moved down the block. Anyone who grew up in the hood knows this type of social phenomenon all too well. First off, first off, Cardi is not ugly. And even if she was, her actual energy that she emits is 10% more light and positive than whatever this bitch is giving off. It's giving me sis needs Dr. Seb. It's giving me sis needs a Dr. Sebi cleanse. All the mucus foaming foods. I can't believe anyone still eats Crisco in 2022. Will really have you pressed when you see the Dominicans put the random slices of avocado <laughs> next to everything that's giving nutrient. Ain't you Trini sis? Where are your chickpeas doubles? Nikki needs a strawberry nutrient to. Dokalax and a fucking nap. So that was the first thing that she wrote. Then she went on to write this. Okay, here we go. Then she goes on to say the energy is giving constipation, regret, low self esteem, hood food, grease, drop top chicken box, like high key these. White girls stick the fuck together, okay? They're trying to make sure they stay rich and dominate and make the space prime for their daughters, even if they cannot stand one another in real life. 
these white girls really protect their space in pop culture hard. A smart Nikki would have done the Cardi, Doja, Megan collab, smiled and smiled in their faces while Safari worked on her album in the background, then came through and dominated without showing the world how desperately you relied on tokenism and sabotaging other black female rappers behind the scenes. Like it was like it was like it was an easy plan, but no, we want to feed the baby chicken bones and defend the white girls in blackface and give sex offenders puss. Oy vey. So that is what Azealia Banks had to say. She has definitely been going in concerning the situation. So yesterday she took to her live stream and um, she posted a video about the situation as well. So let me go ahead and share this with you guys real quick here. Okay, here we go. She's mad. She lost. Let her take that L and you stay out of it. Please. Don't let none of these bitches that have not put no work in or that have that damn, that don't got no swag. They don't got no fucking like, no, no clever lyrics, no nothing. Like who like, why, why are you talking to these girls? They these dirty bitches where the fuck they are, please. These bitches still getting their nails done for ten dollars at MV, eating three dollar fucking three dollar holla plates. Oh wait, uh huh. Excuse me. Her first number one single with another bitch. I forgot. Nikki still doesn't have a Grammy. Okay, so talk your shit, talk your shit, but don't don't walk into this shit with these fucking whack ass bitches. Cause Nikki's a whack bitch. Nikki's a whack bitch. She's a whack bitch, and whatever blood nigga that she got with her, he can't make no fucking moves anyway. That nigga's a fucking sex offender. Any fucking move he makes, that nigga's going to jail for life. For life. Like, please. Oh. Like, after all this, like, personal growth that we've seen you do in the public and everything, the last thing I want to fucking see is you in jail. All right, so y'all just heard what Azealia Banks had to say. She definitely has some harsh words. You know, I feel like this. I think a lot of this is wasted energy. And I feel like Cardi constantly allows people to bait her into these little online disputes. They're coming for her because right now, hate it or love it, she gets, you know, she's at the top right now. This song is doing good. The other song didn't do so well, the one with Kanye and Lil Durk. But this song with her and Glorilla, it took off. And it seems like people are bothered by that. And I feel like this, you know, and this is one thing I have to tell her. I don't feel like there's ever a reason to put yourself in a situation where you're showing up in somebody's hood and you're tagging yourself. Let's keep it real. She has way more to lose than Malibu Mitch or half of these girls that are on that remix. You just got done fighting a court case, okay? where she was able to walk away with probation. She didn't have to do any jail time. That was a straight up blessing. So why put yourself in a position to go to the Bronx and tag your location and meet up to fight when you just got done with the court case for fighting? It doesn't make sense. Cardi has to move smarter. She cannot continue to let people bait her and upset her and put her in a situation that's going to risk her, uh, not only her career, but, you know, possibly her safety or risk her going to jail, you know, and let's think about this as far as safety also goes. Just what, two, three weeks ago, we lost PMB Rock because he tagged his location. So, you know, at the end of the day, she has to move smarter. So I do agree with Adelia Banks in that she cannot continue to let people bait her and take her out of her character. Because that's what they want to do. They want to get her angry. They want to get her upset. So then they can point and be like, okay, she's crazy. Look at her. I think at the end of the day, this is all nonsense. You know what I'm saying? All of this is because of a muse of songs. Nikki dropped a song with these girls. Cardi collaborated with this girl. And people have turned into this huge versus situation. When if you like Super Freaky Girl Remix, stream it. Support it. Listen to it. If you like the sign that she did with Glorilla tomorrow too, stream it, listen to it, support it. Why does it have to be all of this beef online? And some people feel like these are little young people. Most of the people doing this shit are grown folks. Let's keep it real. This is not, these, these fandoms are not really 12 and 13 year olds here. 
These are grown women and grown men who are behaving in this manner. It doesn't make any sense. And then as soon as something tragic happens, everybody's crying. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's sending well wishes and bringing flowers. It, it, it's, it's just ridiculous to me that hip hop has gotten to this point. It's like there's way more excitement and drama in the female category than even with the men. The men are not even beefing like this. Half of these women are mothers. It does not make sense. We should be celebrating each other's wins as opposed to tearing each other down. I think all this stuff is, is just silly, especially the Malibu girl talking about she just got out the hospital. So you got out the hospital. You're obviously not in tip top shape, but you're tagging your location ready to fight. Over what? It's so silly. It is so silly. And I just think that at the end of the day, they all need to grow up and understand they have been blessed to be in a space where they're able to do what they love. These women, they're not curing cancer. Let's keep it real. None of these women are scientists. None of them are teachers. They're literally rapping. They're making songs that we can shake our ass to and have a good time. So enjoy the fruits of your labor. Get your money, get your bag. Why does it constantly boil down to beef? Why does it, you know, why is it that there's constantly shots being thrown? It, it's just silly to me. And then y'all want to act like, oh, Nikki's not doing anything. She's minding her business. No, Nikki does a lot of stuff too. She's throwing shots. She changed her avatar to JT. She's throwing little shots about Offset. Why even do that? The whole back and forth. She said something. Cardi called her lunch lady arms. Nikki called her ugly. It's just weird. It's like, y'all are grown. Nikki's 40. Y'all are grown, but y'all are steadily going back and forth instead of just enjoying and making music. It makes no sense. It really does you not. You want the latest news in the streets. Join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.